Welcome back everyone, how are we doing? Happy Monday and all that. Here's the deal folks, I'm not going to have good internet till after Christmas. That's good news and bad news for you guys, um, depending on what you're into really. It means, unfortunately, no perfect scores and no World City Wednesdays. Well, nothing that involves playing the game properly, put it that way. But what it does mean is that you'll have even more no moving, scrolling or zooming. Maybe some 30 seconds per round, stuff like that. It's just too laggy with my current broadband. I am uh, in the process of moving house, in case you didn't know, and that is why. So 2nd or 3rd of Jan, maybe the 4th of Jan, it will all be up and running and it will be 10 times as fast. That's the good news. Okay, so you can expect two videos from me this week. One today, one on Friday. No moving, scrolling or zooming a diverse world today, as you can see. On Friday, my new favourite format. You've got to see it. It's 30 seconds per round, a diverse world. It's incredible. I don't know why I haven't done it before. It's so much fun. And then a Christmassy themed video on Christmas Eve. But for now, let's kick things off with this classic. Okay, we've got a US flag here, which is uh, a decent clue, a decent clue. Springfield Fire Department, well, well, well. Most common place name in America, home to the most famous family in America. No, not the Griffins, the Simpsons. I'm older than you lot, remember? So let's pick a Springfield. How about it? Let's look over here. I think we're over to the east. I think we're probably up and along here. Let's have a look, one more look around. Okay, I think possibly even further north. Possibly up here somewhere. Right, I'm going to look for a Springfield now. So the first Springfield that comes into view is the one I'm going for. How about that? Okay, can't find one yet. I thought it was the most common name, but I'm starting to question that. Um, Sharon Springs, Richfield Springs, any danger of a Springfield, Pittsfield, Springfield. Okay, so we found one. It's in Massachusetts, uh, which is not really what I was hoping for, but, you know, I'm going to go for it. I, I said I'd, I'd go for the first one that I found, so that I will do. Um, however... What I've got on the map here doesn't really correlate with what it looks like. It's quite hilly. I've got to go out on a hill, really. So I'm going to go here. Wow. No way. That confused me so much. Okay, amazingly, I've got 122 miles away. That's incredible. Because um, I could have easily looked down here. You know, in Carolina or Virginia. I didn't, I know. But I actually was looking at these. I was looking at Li Richfield Springs, wasn't I? Sharon Springs. But for some reason, I didn't see that. Springfield Center. I'm really pissed off now because <laughs> if I'd have just seen that, I must have been, I must have been this far zoomed out. That is excruciating to be honest um, but you know I found one luckily mercifully there was one pretty nearby that I found but that is incredible 4495 points I've never experienced anything like that in all my time but I've got to move on 4495 that's a great start we will smash the score if we carry on like that if wow that's lovely what a view. Um, what a view. The um, sun is well and truly in the northern hemisphere, which is kind of confusing because I wouldn't have put us in a, in a southern hemisphere country. So, yeah, that is slightly confusing, but we definitely are in the southern hemisphere because that sun is directly in front of us. So, where the hell could we be because we've got loads of pine trees here i mean they do have pine trees in new zealand very similar to this so that's one option 
I guess South Africa is an option. I guess it is. But uh, this is quite a confusing round, to be honest. The Google car, I think I can see the wing mirrors off. They're right here. If they are indeed the wing mirrors. Not quite sure. And even more confusingly, if they are the wing mirrors, it's kind of on the right. But again, I really don't know about that. Um, do you know, I think I've got to go for the north of New Zealand here. Because I haven't seen pine trees in, in Australia. I don't think they've introduced them there. Um, or or maybe they can't grow there. I don't know. But in New, Z in New Zealand, you do get them because it's thrown me off before. So I'm thinking of, of sort of going up here because it does look quite scorched and dry. It looks quite hot, in all, in all honesty. Now, could it be anywhere in South America? Well, I don't think so. I, d I haven't seen that amount of pine trees either. I guess it could be Argentina. I guess it could. I don't know. I'm torn between Argentina here and New Zealand, which is um, not a common uh, couple of places to be torn between. What do you think? I'd love to hear what you are thinking. Well, mainly because that would help me out. I will move around on this round as well to see if that can sway my opinion any further. It just looks quite vast. And I know New Zealand is big, but just looks a bit big for New Zealand, to be honest. Well, no, th that's it's not fair to say because it is a big place. But what am I thinking? I guess I could be up here, couldn't I? I guess I could. I mean, there's a big forest here that I could be in. Shall I go for it? Are there any trails around here? Lion's Hut. I guess I could be around here. I'm going to go for it, folks. I'm I'm not going to go for Argentina. But um, I accept that it could be. Right. It could be South Africa as well. In fact, I'm really tempted to go South Africa now, thinking about it. Oh, man. Let me have a look in South Africa. Because it just looks too scorched. Doesn't it? Jesus. I mean, they might have had a particularly harsh summer when this was taken. You know, it could be there. I don't know whether there's pine trees here, you see. Man, this ain't nice. This is not nice. Okay, I'm going to change to South Africa. And I just know... Some of you are going, no, mate, no, fucking don't, don't do it. That's the kiwi pine, mate. Are you crazy? Don't do it. You indecisive prick. <laughs> I'm presuming that these places are wooded, but they might not be. No, I'm going to stick with New Zealand then. I'm sticking with New Zealand, guys. You'll be pleased to know. <laughs> the other half of you are going, uh, no, mate, don't do it. Stick to go, change, change to South Africa. I can't. I'm going up here, right? So, this is going to be wrong, isn't it? But here goes nothing. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm going to move around. Here we go. Fuck. What is this? I don't like that. That doesn't look New Zealandish. Um. That's on the left, so that would be driving on the left, okay? So that's kind of good. That's New Zealand or South Africa. This can't be New Zealand. Look at it. It's... I'm thinking it's Brazil now. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Right, let's make the guess. Look at that. Would you look at that? Swaziland. They do have pine trees over here. And in mass as well. Not just, you know, the odd one. Fucking everywhere. Okay, you learn, you learn, you live and learn. Okay, right, eight points. Let's continue. I mean, technically, it wasn't actually South Africa. So, right, this has to be the USA, doesn't it? Or Canada? 
we have got well what is that on there is that a sign or is it a flag i'm going to rear my head yeah that's a stop sign with um some uh you know green regular old green sign posts and uh this one is going to be about differentiating between canada and the usa isn't it Ooh. okay tom yes you can do this i don't you can do it okay 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 trees are a mixture trees are definitely a mixture we've got that up there i'm not sure what that is there's not going to be a lot i can do here um other than just go into the map have a good think go with my heart there's no flag flying above that house that's annoying where are they less patriotic well probably canada but that's only because they're very patriotic in the usa um no it it varies doesn't it obviously I th i'm tempted to go for the usa just because of the trees here um and I'm tempted. Uh, I'm going to go for. I might go for up here in Michigan. I know it's quite flat. But. Let's just do it. Let's go up here. Oh good old Gaylord. Should we go Gaylord? Um, yeah. Why not? I don't know. It looks quite flat. I don't like the flatness. Don't like the flatness. I think I should go further down here. Um, yeah, I think I should go up here, actually. How about, you know, not too far from Canada. Let's go here on the 114. How about it? Right, I'm going to move around now because I am torn between two places. Let's see if there's anything that gives this away. USA or Canada. Here we go. Can't change my selection now. Okay, I'm, th I'm still thinking USA. Oh, God. There's a lake there. I'm thinking more Canada now. <laughs> um, I mean, there is a lake, but it's on the other side of the road. It's on the wrong side. There's no flags. I think this is Canada. Let's make that guess, guys. Yeah, it was Canada. Oh... You know, the trees did it for me, but we're actually very similar in terms of latitude. Um, and it was Nova Scotia, very close to um, Port Hawkesbury, Mulgrave. Shout out if you're from there. Um, where's uh, Truro? Can't find Truro. Oh, there it is. So we're not too far from Truro, where I visited virtually. Okay, could have been worse. At least I didn't go in Michigan. <laughs> okay, let's carry on. Last but one round here. Oh, my God. Okay. Right, we've got a fairly oriental... Not oriental. I need to stop using that word. And not because it offends people, but because it's too vague and it's just wrong. Um, but, you know, an Asian, Far Eastern looking kind of uh, construction there. Loads of palm trees. Uh, I'm thinking Malaysia or Thailand, Cambodia. Let's have a look. See how flat Malaysia is because this is very flat. This doesn't look very flat, this bit. And when you look at Thailand, how flat Thailand is, it's kind of a no-brainer really. That isn't flat either particularly. No. So I'm going to go for Thailand. Yeah. And I'll go, um, you know, if I could find these shape lakes, that would be brilliant. What about Cambodia? I'm sure I, f I saw some weird looking lakes around here before. These look man-made. These are definitely man-made ones. Where were they then? That's the Mekong River, so probably not there. Ah, yeah. Th oh, okay. These kind of things. Is probably what I was thinking of. 
I think they're more to do with the temples. I think this is more just agricultural stuff. Well, I'll go Cambodia anyway, and I'll go not too far from Thailand. How about that? Let's go there. Sri Lanka. Right, okay. And <laughs> we were there. 1208 points. A massive beating there, a Sri Lankan beating uh, points wise. Damn, this is a hard game. Can you pronounce that, by the way? Mahakum Buka Dawala. Thank you. Last one. Can we redeem ourselves here? It's got to be South Africa, hasn't it? No, no, look at the buildings. My God. What is this? It does look like South Africa. Is there any way we can figure out which side of the road we're on? I can't see any way of doing that. I can't see any way of doing that. Right, the sun... The sun is casting a shadow. The shadows are pointing north-west. Which means that the sun is in the southern hemisphere, I think. So I'm thinking Turkey, and that would that would correlate with those. I'm thinking Turkey for this one, guys. Can't be Spain. It's got to be Turkey if it's anything in Europe or in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, so, thanks to the shadows, well, I'm not going to jinx it, but it seems like they've helped me out there. Uh, so I'm looking for, uh, it's definitely North Turkey rather than South, if at all. So I'm looking for a nice chunky dual carriageway. In the north of Turkey, that seems to be in a big open plain. Uh, can we see a, the sea or a lake or anything in the distance? I don't think so. Um, so it's a big straight stretch, isn't it? Uh, these all look too hilly, really. Too mountainous. It's a massive country. Do well to get anywhere near correct here this one is catching my eye we've got Ferrisley on the left which would kind of correlate it's just too windy and I don't know it's it's not straight enough that stretch how about that stretch there that looks pretty good should we go for that I don't know if that's you know, a dual carriageway or what. Um, and I doubt there's a river to our left. Too hilly. Yeah, I'm not going to go there. For those of you thinking, ah, oh, just click, man. Um, well, no, I want to... I'm always striving for a, an amazing score. So, fuck you. Uh, right, I'll go here because we've got Sisen Pinar, which is here. So, yeah, I'll go there. You satisfied? I'm not 100% satisfied, but I'm going to go for it. I'll go there. Well, I'll go there. We are next to it, aren't we? Here we go. Here goes nothing. Oh, my God. Okay, we we're way over towards Armenia. Here was our stretch. Way more north <laughs> northwesterly than I thought. Um, and there seems to be a, a university there in the middle of nowhere. Logical. Uh, Igdir is where we were near. And it seems that there's a... An old volcano there. Agri Daggy. Lovely place. It does look really nice. Um, view summary. That's a shite score. That is a really shite score, isn't it? But, um, you know, I had fun there. And uh, especially that first round, that was, um, that was really interesting. And really annoying how I was just so close to the actual Springfield. Damn, that could have been a lot of views for me. <laughs> Um, okay, thanks for tuning in, guys, as always. I apologise for the lack of girthy material that I'm pumping out at the moment. It will all be rectified very soon. Big things are happening in January as well. I'm going to embark on a few more projects, but make sure you tune in on Friday for this 30 seconds per round, a diverse world. It's a treat. ta -ra.